Hi, this is Thumper again with Blue Collar Builders, still at the Intersolar North American Conference in San Francisco at the Moscone Center. We're just about to step it up to highbrow here. Uh, ironically talking about low-hanging fruit when it comes to uh, solar. This a former professor of Auburn University, his name is uh, Norbert. Yes. This is a simple explanation of high-hanging fruit. This, this conference is about photovoltaic, but you take issue with how it's being uh, presented. Yes, uh, there's nothing wrong with high-hanging fruit, but everybody agrees you should pick the low-hanging fruit first, but when it comes to practice, they ignore that. And the low-hanging fruit from a solar point of view would be things like orientation, building color, window placement, window size, shading. These are all low fruit that should be picked before the high fruit of photovoltaics and active solar. If you pick these, then the size of your photovoltaics and active solar would be much smaller and becomes much more economical. And you cannot do a net zero building if you don't pick the low hanging fruit first. Awesome. Low hanging fruit because it's easy to address. What kind of percentage of value does it address? This low-hanging fruit has two great advantages. It is free or low cost and extremely effective. And so it's an unbeatable combination. For example, I've done a study and I can demonstrate with the Heliodon that if you take a building... Let's, uh, I was just about to ask that question, sorry to interrupt, but Heliodons, that's going to escape people. Okay. A heliodon is a device that simulates sun angles so that you can study the behavior of a building, its performance, or even of a development to see how well it responds with the sun. Okay. And this is an example of a heliodon where these yellow rings represent different months of the year. For example, June, July, August, September, and so on. And so we can simulate all the months of the year at different times of the day there's also an adjustment for latitude so that we can simulate any time of day, any time of year, any place on the planet. As well as orientation, right? Yeah. And orientation is the single most powerful solar strategy, and it's free. Uh, as I was going to say, if you have a building and that you're going to build and there's freedom in its uh, orientation. If you start out with the wrong orientation, the worst orientation, and you change that to the best, you can save up to 50% of the energy for heating, cooling and lighting for free. It's just unbeatable. But unfortunately, these, this wonderful idea is not promoted because there's no money in it. It's free. <laughs> Okay. And that's my purpose. Now, obviously, this is for uh, new home construction, though. I yeah, orientation is limited for new home. But some of the other low fruit, like color of the building, of the roof, uh, even especially shading, these are all things that existing buildings uh, usually don't do or do very poorly. So these low-hanging fruits, some of them are only for new buildings and others can be also used for retrofit. Wouldn't you know it, we ran out of memory on the uh, video here. Norbert Lecter is the, uh, the professor from Auburn University that we're speaking to. He has a book here called Heating and Cooling and Lighting if you want to know more. Uh, his invention is the Heliodon. So if you want to understand how that works, please go to his website. My name is Thumper with Blue Collar Builders. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.